Good morning, welcome back everybody. Dan John here from danjohnuniversity.com. And as I'm looking at this, as I'm looking over the past few days, I see that today is January 6th, which is an interesting day if you're an American. And this is day four of our swing challenge, day four. So this today, we'll, we'll finish up, uh, ideally if I finish up, uh, I'll be at uh, rep 2000 today, which is a lot of reps. I have friends on Instagram over here. Uh, feel free to ask questions. Just remember, um, sometimes I can't see them real well. Uh, and, and good morning, thanks for all the love. Uh, people from all over the world watch this, which tells you the quality of uh, entertainment today. Uh, as soon as I get this first set in, I wanna talk about an important thing about how there's this kind of injury-ish kind of thing that happens uh, when you, uh, Oh, and that's not an injury, uh, but I'll, I'll go through it in a minute. Okay, let's get first set of swings in. My grip is gone. My hamstrings are killing me, and it's day four. And there's only, after I finish this, tomorrow will be day five, and then it'll be day 20 pretty soon. But, man, my, my grip is fried. My hamstrings are fried. And I want to talk about a special issue that a lot of people get, and I have a simple cure for it, okay? Okay, first set down. So, one of the issues a lot of people get when they do this is they feel a lot of stress here. Uh, and those are the muscles the bodybuilders sometimes call Christmas trees. Uh, honestly, I don't even know what the muscles are out there. I mean, I know the things wrap around, but if you're struggling with those uh, muscle tissue issues up here, up here, now, it's not the muffin top, it's the actual muscles underneath. Very often, at least in my experience working with people, is that they have a bad start and finish. So when you do the kettlebell swing, make sure you step back from the bell. Here's the interesting thing, because I'm so worried about staying in the cameras, I'm not setting up as well as I do in the garage when I swing. And it's come back, I mean, I'm not hurting, but I have that slight ache that you get, that's that one that highlights things and says, okay, you keep being stupid, you're gonna be hurt. So make sure when you start every kettlebell swing, you're back away from the bell. You sit back, you put your hands forward, you look up and then you go. And you should finish in this position here. And when you finish, I call it putting it down like a professional, then you straighten, uh, stand straight up. I'm not sure I've been that good about this on this so far. So uh, the first thing I'm gonna do today is try to be better about that. Uh, I'm not hurt or hurting, <laughs> hang on. I'm hurting and I'm hurting, but I'm not hurt. Let's go.
So I'll try to be a little bit better about it, okay? Uh, I was at a workshop in Norway one time where this famous bodyweight guy made fun of kettlebellers about how kind of strict kettlebellers are about putting the weights up and down. And I remember thinking, this guy not only knows that I'm sitting in the front row because he acknowledged me, but he's just being kind of, I mean, it's like making fun of somebody on a bicycle for wearing a helmet or someone driving who's wearing a seatbelt. I mean, it's, <laughs> or someone who comes to shore when there's a shark out there. I mean, you, can, you don't have to in any of those cases. I mean, you can certainly swim with sharks all you want, but I mean, there comes a point where you have to take some, uh, some blame for your stupid behavior. So, yeah, it really did bother me uh, because it, I, he just made fun of uh, uh, kettlebell certifications. And I get it. And this was a few years back, but <clears throat> when kettlebells were extremely popular, uh, and I think they, they're more popular in the general public now, but when we had that real cult going, uh, and there were some things you could make fun of us of, but this idea about, you know, uh, training safety, I, I don't think it's something to laugh about because if you've been in gyms as long as I have, you see people get hurt, and it's, those are hard injuries to fix, man. Uh, hey, good morning, everybody. Hi. Uh, if you have questions, ask. Remember, if, if I miss it because so many people join, just re-ask the question, okay? Uh, this set will get us over 100. It will be uh, over a fifth of the way. Oh, I have good news for those who have been watching every day. My dog did not uh, have diarrhea this morning inside of his kennel. So, uh, not having to start my day cleaning up. Uh, padding and floors uh, from with cleaning them up from dog diarrhea somehow is a, is a brighter way to start my day. Uh, speaking of dog diarrhea, today's January 6th in the United States and for those of you who remember, uh, it was bad last year and let's remember those who who died last year or who had who are still struggling with their injuries from uh, protecting uh, the United States Capitol. So that's all right let's uh, let's get over let's get over a hundred. We might even be able to sneak up into uh, a quarter of the way there. It could happen, yeah. Grip is given out. <sighs> and as I said yesterday, I don't want to be doing this and having my kettlebell flying into my wall here. So uh, what I'm sitting on is one of two uh, ottomans that we have down here that we keep blankets and, and games in. I've got a lot of games down here. Uh, right, right here is uh, Connect Four. Chess, tic-tac-toe, Stratego, Scrabble, Parcheesi, a bunch of clues, uh, all kinds of games down here, uh, lots of jigsaw puzzles. Uh, my family, uh, we've really taken to playing a lot of uh, games lately, which is, which I think is marvelous. Uh, kind of, we for a while we seem to stop playing games as a family, even though we played Yahtzee. Yahtzee is our go-to game. But it's nice to be playing card games again. And what's nice about card games is that if you do have a football game on, or you got something else going on in the background, if someone want to wants to 
kind of watch the game they can but for the rest of us we can just ignore it as a background noise now if it's a big game or something like that sure okay i'm gonna go get more coffee again instagram friends ah if you have questions let me know Oh, one thing about today's tempo, which is important, uh, today is Thursday. Uh, every Thursday is my easy day. We call it tonic Thursday here at the gym. The word tonic comes from the same root as root has tune. So uh, every Thursday I try to tune my violin, so to speak. I try to. So today's my day. I do uh, my mobility work. I do my uh, flexibility work. I stretch my wrists, toes fingers, those kind of things you might, I mean, I do some wrist work every day because I'm an Olympic lifter, but today's a day where you try to spend time, uh, a lot of time on the shoulders and hips. Uh, we spend time on the hands, wrists, feet, ankles. Um, obviously there's some big T-spine movements we do, but, uh, most of it is just making sure you, 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 you pull things apart. All right, so I'm talking too much. Oh, so that's why the tempo today is going to be a little bit gentler and easier because I'm trying to turn everything down. Uh, you know, I got to make sure, you know, as I do this, not to, you know, roast myself into oblivion. Uh, as, okay. Oh, no questions today at all on my Instagram, friends. Got a lot of Harry Potter stuff down here. This, this is the first, the first thing you ever bought for Harry Potter. Man, this thing is one of my favorite things. It's uh, them, it's a globe. Them seeing Hogwarts for the first time. And as many of you remember, the original stuff was always inaccurate because Harry Potter's glasses were still broken. And of course, everyone knows that they had been fixed. That was like, oh, we have a question. Well, so we have a question. Uh, about doing a much, <laughs> you know, uh, every minute on the minute, 10,000 swing challenge, and the person can't get carries, and well, then don't worry about it. Um, I mean, I push carries harder than probably anybody, but for we're only looking at 20 workouts, so don't worry about it. And I know that sounds weird, but uh, I think you can go, if you're generally training, I think you can go. Uh, <laughs> months without doing certain things. For example, I've done programs without squats for uh, two, pardon me, four months, and then come back, started squatting, and my squat actually improved. Uh, obviously, like things like, I haven't bench pressed seriously since uh, uh, President Clinton, I think. But I'm, I'm uh, every time I come back, I, I come right back, uh, my numbers come right back up in weeks, days, uh, so you, as, long, as long as I'm pressing, my bench press doesn't go. As long as I'm doing swings, my loaded carries seems to stick around. 
if I'm doing the Olympic lifts, my deadlift is fine, you know. So uh, if you're a general trainee, you know, you got 52 weeks a year or three days a week, then maybe I'd push, maybe I'd try to work a little harder thinking about getting those uh, push, pull, hinge squat loaded carries into all three days. I would push more about getting more mobility on those three days. I'd, I'd want to make sure your maybe even your rest periods were a little bit more dialed in on those three days. But if you're doing the 10,000 swing challenge, you're, you're doing plenty of work. I, I mean, at least I think. You know, I have this program for Olympic lifting called the Big 21. And I can't tell you how many people have told me, you know, what else should I do? You know, it's only nine workouts over three weeks. And it's like, here's what else you can do. On day seven, eight, and nine, you're going to try to get some sleep at night because the program is so hard. People don't sleep the night before those heart, those last three workouts. Literally don't sleep. I, I've had students tell me they couldn't eat lunch because they were worried about the workout at three o'clock. I mean, they were sick to their stomach, worried about the lifts they had to make. It's three weeks. Even if it's a complete waste of time, it's only three weeks out of a career, which just isn't that much. Of course, you know, three weeks to a, a five-year-old is radically different to a 65-year-old, and I understand that. But at the same time, in a training career, don't worry about it too much, okay? Okay. So, let's, let's, uh, within two sets, I'll be over 200. So, let's do this. Oh, I was reading an article that's really hitting home for me. Uh, it's an article about how this winter's flu combined with COVID is going to make for an interesting winter. You know, I get my flu shot every year. Uh, and I, I haven't had the flu since I started doing it. But boy... Uh, what was an interesting thing is that they said since a lot of people, you know, spent more time indoors over the last two years, that, you know, not being exposed to, you know, tiny little sicknesses, maybe are setting up some people for a bad flu. And I'm just like, oh, let's hope for the best. Let's hope that doesn't happen. Okay. Uh, I don't know if you guys ever seen a an older person deal with the flu. It's just so brutally sad. Uh, or it's like watching a baby or a child with the flu. Okay. Huh. How would you? Uh, we have a question about easy strength with kettlebell snatches and kettlebell cleans. You certainly can do it. Uh, I've never. Uh, snatches, we, uh, we kept looking for... Uh, uh, Finn and I kept trying to figure out a, a daily minimum effective dose, and it just it's just snatches are just hard to figure. Um, for the cleans, I mean, you certainly could. I'd you'd have to go, you'd really have to have a lot of bells to be able to go heavy enough to get anything out of them in easy strength. Okay, I'm not saying you can't do it. I just I just said I I haven't been able to do it. And just by the way, just because I say when I when someone asks me my opinion, very often it's like, yeah, I tried it, tried a different way, it didn't work, so yes, you know, forget it. And then they think that that's me saying it, it's impossible. It's just not. It's just you know when you try something a couple of weeks and it does. Oh, this trying to get the kettlebell snatch with the minimum effective dose. I mean, it was it was bonkers. I mean, it was just didn't work. You know, because the number kept trending down to. I think the last thing I, I finally just said forget it at 40 reps 
So that's 20 left and 20 right a day. And it's just, I mean, that to me, that's just, that's practice. You know, that's not, that's not what you want. All right, let's get over 200. Get into the low. Sorry, it couldn't be better. But yeah, you can do it. I just, you might need to uh, school me about it later on. If it was cleans, double cleans, you know, two sets of five with 36s or 40s would be really good. And then, uh, or just, just do double kettlebell front squats and, you know, hey, there you go. I mean, there's an idea. Two sets of five, double kettlebell clean, double kettlebell front squat. So more like an Olympic lifter approach. I, I can't vouch for it because it just, I just said it, but it could. Ah, uh, see, so you could do worse, but you probably can do better too. You like those quads, huh? There you go. It's free. Ah, let's kick this thing. Okay, let's get over 200, and then we'll get over 300, and then we'll get over 400, and then we'll do 500, and we'll call it a day. Wow, there's a plan. saw a movie last night called Licorice Pizza, which, man, I thought was a great movie. So fun. Uh, it's, I mean, I could tell you the whole show, but it's, like, it's funny. In a weird way, it reminded me of The Big Lebowski, uh, or uh, even The Maltese Falcon, where the plot isn't nearly as important as the scenes. Yeah, fun movie. And this girl, Alana Hine, maybe, and her three sisters, her two sisters. Boy, these kids, she's a talent, man. She's a talent. Uh, thank you. I'll experiment. Well, yeah, that's, that's good to hear. So the, the person asking the question said they'll experiment with it. And that's all we ever do. I mean, I hate to say it, but the 10,000 swing challenge is still an experiment. <laughs> As many times as I've done it and all the feedback I've gotten, every time we do it, we I finish it, people finish it, they send me feedback or here's what I did. I'm always like, that's so much better than what I was doing. Um, as a reminder, uh, I don't do it uh, on these videos. I do the up to method, which is the up to 500. Any way I get to 500 reps is what I do. So, whew, boy. Uh, I'm also waiting for the big whoosh uh, on my uh, on my uh, my fat loss. Uh, usually, what happens is you get a couple days like I have today. So, um, when I do the 10,000 swing challenge, almost instantly my body weight comes down, and then it hovers, and it hovers, and it sticks at one spot, and then, like out of nowhere, I don't, and it'd be interesting. maybe I need to remember the day. I'll weigh in, and it's like, whew, where did it all go? It's like. Uh, uh, I was up a little bit today, and I think it's because I ate a very, very high sodium uh, uh, soup yesterday. Uh, it's the kind of soup you eat, and you go, wow, there's a lot of salt in that thing. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> because I guarantee I didn't eat very much yesterday. Uh, I had, uh, let's say I had uh, a massive salad, I had the vegetable soup, and then at dinner I had this, uh, I had fire roasted vegetables, uh, 14 different kinds uh, with some chicken thighs. So, I, you know, it wasn't exactly like I was, you know, <laughs> you know, smoking dope and eating Fritos and Ding Dongs and, you know, Cheez-Its or whatever. Though, actually, when you're on, when you're on kind of a diet or nu nutritional restriction, saying the word Cheez-It is kind of like, oh, yeah, Cheez-Its, man. Yeah, Cheez-Its. And I don't even like Cheez-Its, as my friend Lonnie will tell you. Yeah, uh, <laughs> the joke used to be, if you ever saw me eating a bean burrito, make sure you don't ha I don't have my car keys, because obviously I've been drinking. Uh, 
bean burrito sounds good when you're fasting too. Okay, enough on what sounds good. Let's uh, let's get some swings in. Let's uh, get into the mid 200s here. Questions showing up here. No. Good morning. Good morning. Hi. A lot of a lot of my friends from Europe are here. That's good. Uh, it's been fun. On it's been probably the best part of my career is meeting so many people from different places. Uh, you know, for we have a lot of here in the states, we have a lot of people who don't travel, and you can tell when they. They will say something about a country and they'll say, oh, it's dirty. And I'm like, how do you know that? Well, you know, and they'll have some story and it's like, uh, or they'll, they'll say some kind of offensive thing about that. And uh, I just, I've never found that to be true. Oh, yeah, we have a question, sir. Uh, got the same question I get a lot about the competition bell. Hold on. So I don't like the competition bells uh, for, I think, three good reasons. Until my hands are cramped up. I can't make the number three without doing that. Uh, first, uh, I don't like the fact that they're made out of steel. So when you do double work, when they hit each other, it feels like they just bound off of each other. They just bounce off each other. Now, there are four kettlebell competitions. So I, I, if you're going to do competition, absolutely use the bells. So just follow my point. I'm not saying they're bad. I'm just saying those are what I don't like. Two, I don't like the, the vertical handle they have. Now, for competition, it's better. But it's much easier to do goblet squats with this kind of bell, with that slight, with the horns on it. So uh, for a lot of the exercises I like to teach, uh, this style is better than that style. And there was a third reason. Do, 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 do. And who can forget the third reason? Okay, so I don't like the fact that they're made out of steel because they bounce. I don't like the vertical handles because of uh, goblet squats and some of the other variation stuff I do. Um, here's another. Okay, this is a small one, and I've said this before, and people just say, "Well, whatever." I don't like the fact that they're all the exact same size, um, and I don't like the fact that they paint the the light ones pink and the heavy you know this weird uh, misogyny about the or whatever the hatred of the color pink makes no sense to me at all uh you know you hear it a lot in some of these other shirts you know i don't know what the deal is with pink I, it's it's a color it looks very good on me by the way uh i like the fact that uh the iron bells have different sizes i i, I like that uh, that allows us to do things uh, a little bit more variations in how you hold it. Like, I'm a big fan of the uh, waiter press. We hold the, the bell, the kettlebell bell like this and press. I think it's very helpful to teach people where their elbows go in kettlebell pressing. Uh, watch your teeth, though. Make sure you're not an idiot, okay? Which is high standard for a lot of people, it seems. Let's sneak up on three. Okay, uh, I'll, if you have more, I like that question. So if you have more, answer, please, uh, ask, please.
But again, sometimes I think people uh, read too much into my answers to questions. Uh, I get these. Uh, happy Thursday. Uh, thank you. Hey, hi, Cannibal Guy. Uh, you know, I've actually had to block people because they just keep getting on me about these. Yeah, uh, when someone demands research on a... <laughs> someone demanded uh, that I provide research that fasting is good for you. And well, well, there is some research now, but it's like, if you're a Christian, you fast. Well, you should. I always find it interesting when I meet people with tattoos. You know, they're Bible literists and they've got tattoos. If you read the Bible, you're not supposed to have tattoos. Uh, but they'll say, fasting, yeah, I'm not going to do that. Well, yeah, well, fasting's a major part of, uh, of uh, sacred scripture, every sacred scripture uh, all around the world. And so for me, if 7 billion people on the planet Earth think something has value, I mean, you might want to, I don't know, lean into that a little bit. Uh, but there is a new research on fasting, obviously, but I'm, why do I have to provide it? Frankly, and I'm, 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 I apologize if I'm about to swear, I don't give a shit about research most of the time. I much rather would sit down with somebody who's got hands-on experience and who's done it and have them tell me, I don't want to hear some, you know, I was with that famous biomechanist one time. Guys, all, you know, it's all about the research, all about numbers, all about hard numbers. And I asked him how I can improve my discus technique. And he told me to go on steroids for 12 weeks. Well, you know, I didn't need to have a world famous biomechanist tell me to go on steroids. I mean, I could have just gone to any gym in Salt Lake City or, you know, any of the uh, uh, people who wear blue all day that I know. And they, 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 have, they that's where you get them from. So, yeah, so, so I don't always need research to, to support what I, what I think. Okay, uh, on this set, we're going to go over three, okay? So, uh, thanks for the question. Those are good. Um, which is high praise for an inter, uh, Instagram question. Oh, we got another question popped right up. Can't stay. Bus popping. Just oh, hey, who is that? Hey, how's my man doing? Let's uh, let's make sure we hit. Uh, I'll be down in Phoenix for a weightlifting meet in February 12th. So I'll, maybe we can have another cup of coffee then. Um, all right. Uh, what's my? Sometimes I forget what number I'm on, and that just happened. Okay, so for those of you doing Pat Flynn, see you later. It was nice having you. Oh, <laughs> I'm watching this uh, YouTube series where they bring in experts to critique movies. And it sounds a lot like what I do for a living, like uh, some some combat expert will look at a movie and, and rate whether or not it's accurate. Uh, hang on, there's a point here. Uh, so they watch the movie 300 and they'll go, well, you know, that's not really what, and it's like, I feel that way sometimes when I talk about research and, uh, and training. It's like, <laughs> so Dan, what do you think about this guy's body in Captain America? It's like, it's fantasy, it's a movie. <laughs> it's, it's, you know, a bunch of men about this tall uh, who, uh, probably haven't eaten in a couple of months uh, and as we found out in many cases take massive amounts of, uh, of drugs that are illegal immoral and unethical uh, to look that way for 10 seconds on the on 
on a movie. And, I, and, I, and I, you know what? I don't fault them at all. That movie is going to last, I mean, forever, you know. So when you take your shirt off on screen, uh, that's going to be up, that's going to be on screen forever. I mean, just watch, uh, is it Goldfinger where Sean has his shirt off, Sean Connery? You know, he's a former Mr. Edinburgh, Edinburgh, and uh, he doesn't, uh, and he doesn't look sliced and diced because, well, they weren't, they weren't using some of the toys we have today. Uh, any questions over there? Uh, hi. Uh, my friends over at Insta, uh, you're all welcome to come in and ask questions if you feel like it. And hi, everybody. Uh, I think, uh, I think my point is, is that sometimes, you know, we, we, we go to, we just constantly have to start a fight. It's like, well, yeah, the movie 300 has fantasy, uh, uh, fight scenes, yeah, because there was no, there was nobody there with video cameras during the original, and that by itself would have probably been so disappointing to watch compared to the movie. Yeah, so, all right. Hi, Dan. I'm currently doing the thing of a challenge using a 24 fidget. I'm finding the kettlebell quite comfortable. Could I use 32 on some sets? Okay, yeah. Um, the question is about using multiple loads. Uh, one of the easiest ways I've ever done the 10,000 swing challenge is, let's see, I gotta be careful because I don't wanna lie to you. It might have been, it might have been 25 bells. And we put them in a conga line. Uh, no, don't go heavy to light, light to heavy, just mix and match them. And we did, uh, let me, if it was, I wanna make sure I get this right. So you did 10 on every bell twice. And it just goes like this. It just goes so fast. And then, yeah, we used bells as light as 8 and 10, but we also used uh, a 48, 236s, you know, 232s, uh, two 24s, four or five 20s, because that's, you know, that's what I have. So, <sighs> yeah, I, I'm a big fan of it. So you could, you could even do something as simple as this. Uh, maybe uh, 10 reps on the 32, 15 on the 24. Uh, if you did that for uh, the math, as it always gets me, uh, 20 rounds, you'd be done, and it wouldn't be terrible. In science, we have theoretical versus actual. Huh. Thank you, gentle uh, listener. This is Manjanit. says, in science, we usually have two numbers, actual and, and scientific. Uh, <laughs> that's so true. Uh, you know, you guys might not know this, but in 1976, they did this famous study of the biomechanical study of the men's shot put at the Olympics and they found out that the guy who won took second place according to the biomechanical studies well we're going to still let the athletes win and use the tape measure okay so uh let's see we're about uh two maybe three sets to 400 which is nice huh? would someone give me a time uh, uh what time is it it doesn't matter the time zone either because I just need another 15 or whatever. That's weird. My grip is just giving out today. That's the second or third time. So yeah, I'm uh, I'm struggling with my grip and my hamstrings. Uh, with the hamstrings, you just gotta keep bow and arrow in that every single time. And with the grip, uh, you have to play around with softening it and a few other things. Ah, oh, you bet. Was that helpful, huh? Good. Huh? You're welcome. Somebody said thank you, which is very kind. Get more coffee.
Okay. Just check the time real fast. Oh, yeah. So this, again, we started a little slow today. Well, hello. We got, got a friend from Munich. I love the town. I love Munich. I, I, uh, I can't remember what you guys call those massive platters uh, that you eat at meals. So, uh, and who's, and from where? Slovenia. Uh, my books are translated. Into, one of my books is translated into Slovenia. Massive platter of uh, cheeses and breads and meats and uh, uh, just different uh, uh, fruits and uh, dried fruits. Oh, it was so great. Yeah. I do enjoy enjoy my trips, folks. I got uh, memorabilia all over the walls for my for my trips. Uh, yeah, I, I, I love traveling. I love going to Europe. Uh, okay, hi. Okay, let's... Uh, okay, uh, shoot. Let's get close to... Let's get close... Within hitting distance of 400 on this one. And I'm sorry I'm going so slow today, but... You know, like I said before, for those of you coming in late, uh, this is my tonic day. This is my easy day, so... Uh, 500 swings. I don't care if you go light or heavy. I don't, it's, it's not, I don't, I don't think it would slide into simply easy. It'd be, yeah. Oh. Easily get over 400 next time. So the fat loss boost is going well. The little diet from Rusty Moore, it's going really well. I, uh, I tell you, man. So yesterday I ate, let's see, salad, veg, huge vegetable salad. A huge veggie soup with too much salt, as I said. And I actually can almost tell now because it comes down. Uh, and then uh, fire roasted vegetables. I think I had about 20 to 25 different veggies yesterday. So that's, I mean, even if it's, I mean, even if it's a, a terrible idea introducing 14 or 20 different vegetables into your body in a couple week period, I think has some value, huh? Um, the, the biggest knock I see on people is that the, their, veg, their vegetable range is so narrow. Uh, it's the nicest thing about having Thomas, my son-in-law. He is an extraordinary cook and he, he, can, he can make anything. I mean, he's, he's really skilled and uh, it's fabulous to have these uh, meals from different parts of the world that are just just so good I mean you know I remember it being a lifter you know rice is bad for you but done correctly and done with you know really wonderfully made veggies and a minimal amount of proteins it, it can be amazing huh. it's funny how in my world we went anti-rice anti-pasta to that's the answer to everything to it's the worst thing you'd ever put in to that's the answer to everything that's that's the field I live in Every day, it's a, every day, uh, something new and exciting. Okay, so let's get over 400 here, okay? That was the sequel to the movie 300, that was 400. Didn't make as much money. Okay.
grip just goes. Oh. Okay. Okay. On the downhill. Instagram friends, if you have questions, ask them now. Uh, I don't even know what this does for me, but I tell you one thing. The day after the 10,000 swings, you sure feel better. <laughs> yeah. Oh, a whole bunch of people joining. Always good to see you. Uh, and a reminder, you know, the questions I answer here are free. And I'm going to start charging every, every for every word, a thousand dollars or so. But they're free here this morning. <sighs> yeah. So I went to the, the movies last night and I was reminded why uh, I don't, I like to watch movies at home. You know, people show up late and talking and it just drives you crazy. But the movie was so good that uh, it was fun because it was like these, the, the, the groups that were talking laughed along and kind of shut up and it was nice. Yeah. I just. Oh, you bet. You bet. Okay, so we have someone who says, uh, Carrie, well, says that every day I feel better. So, well, the rest of us all hate you, okay? <laughs> all right, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's get these, uh, uh, last, uh, this last little cluster done, and then we'll call it a day, and we'll be back tomorrow, okay? <sighs> tighter my little window uh, yeah my grip just went fast that time <sighs> oh wow well, this is a this has been a, an easy day for me uh, I don't have a lot to do today. Oh, tonic day, I have to go meet with somebody for a while, but nothing, nothing hard. Uh, if any of you have anything you want me to talk about in depth, I'm looking for topics for my podcast. Uh, I'm doing a lot on goal setting again. Uh, it's fun. It's fun that people think I know what I'm doing on goal setting. Just because I just because I achieve my goals. <laughs> People think I know something. Well, I, I think it's pretty simple what I do. Hey, good morning, good morning. Okay. Uh, let's, uh, let's see if we can land this plane in maybe two, two sets maybe, huh? Problem is right now, for those who've done it, you know, towards the end, the, it's just that grip that goes. Uh, somebody asked me, why don't you just use straps? And it's like, then don't, it's like, to me, it's like, why don't you just call somebody up and have them do the 10,000 swings for you? And then, <laughs> I guess that's, I mean, I guess if you have to, straps are fine. But, you know, I mean, it's the major part of what makes kettlebells so good is the grip. As what Steve Maxwell told me years ago when he told me the importance of using kettlebells. Steve Maxwell told me how important kettlebells were. So, okay, let's, uh, let's get a set of... Uh, Actually, my conversation with Steve, and I mentioned this in, in an earlier video, was it really was profound. I, I really appreciated what he said to me about the importance of kettlebells. So he talked me into it, so that's good. Okay, let's get over and let's see if we can finish this up. <laughs> Uh, 
<laughs> oh, my grip is just gone. <laughs> oh, man. Sorry. I thought I'd get a few more. Okay, so Instagram friends, we're coming to the finish line. If you have any questions, ask. Oh. Oh. Okay, so I got 25 to go, and uh, good morning, hi, we're almost finished here, okay? Oh, uh, thank you all for uh, being part of this, uh, I really appreciate it, uh, I know it's late, but uh, you know, oh, we have a question, hold on. Yeah, so we have a... We have a question from like Moda Janite or something like that. Asks about, do I ever talk about volume versus intensity? Yeah, and great depth. So on the website, danjohnuniversity.com, I, uh, I have a course on programming where I go through everything. And it's interesting because uh, some of my friends who teach at the, uh, or coach at the division one level have bought this for their assistants and their interns because I mean, I don't say anything that's too controversial or striking or anything, but I, I think I have a certain clarity when it comes to things like volume, intensity, density, um, and then how to rig together a program. It's all, I mean, most of what I do is fairly simple, very logical, uh, stood the test of time, has been backed up by all the authors that I have. I mean, I have so many books in my collection, and I read so much. Uh, last night I was reading... I have so many of these books now that talk about the Soviet secrets. It's just, they're back. And it's like, yeah, I'll tell you what the Soviet secret was. Uh, <laughs> you give people a choice between, uh, do you want to travel the world and have a really nice place and uh, get a lot of nice benefits? Or do you want to have a really crappy job? Oh, huh, let's see. Yeah, and uh, uh, you, get, uh, you get a couple million people to try to do the same single sport, and whoever rises at the top is is the best and then uh, then you pretend to have a program and I get it I summarize and I mean oh and there's those little pills that the Soviets took I remember my, I've got some friends who were in the Soviet system and the one person one time said uh, I mean at the, at a at, at a citywide meet uh, there was there was more uh, stuff than than you'd see it at the highest levels, just how much people would ingest. But, you know, everybody has incentives is a big reason to get strong. But if you if you like the way I talk and the way I do work, danjohnuniversity.com, and by the way, use this as a, uh, to save yourself some money, sign up with the word new year, one word, and that'll give you 50% off in all the courses, okay? And the goals course is only 15 bucks now anyway, so I might as well do that. Okay, last set if I can get, it done. Good night. And whew, 500. And I will swing 500 times. Thank you so much uh, for paying attention. I'm Dan John from danjohnuniversity.com. Uh, if you're listening right now, remember we've got that nice little discount for the month. New year, one word. And remember the goals course is only 15 bucks, which is, I'm, and I, I think there's value to it. I'll keep expanding on it as I learn more and more about high level uh, goal achievement. <laughs> Remember, any idiot can set goals. 
achieving them is a little different. Thank you. And remember, until next time, keep on lifting and learning. Bye-bye.